And I know what y'all probably thinking, girl, all that for $75? I don't care if it's $7.50, it's mine. Now put it back. what is up you guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog my name is Miranda J in case you did not know and thank you so much for tuning in so as you can see we're back in the hoopty well not the hoopty but the car that I bought and paid for with my own coins yeah no more rental car well actually I am getting a rental car tomorrow but that's a whole nother story for now we are back in my car after a good while of being without my own car do you mind Anywho, we are currently sitting outside of Target about to go in there and look at a little bit of the fall uh, decor. So I planned, if you know me, you know I'm a planner, like very much type A. And when things don't go according to plan, it really pisses me off. But I made a whole itinerary of things that I want to do in this vlog. This is supposed to be like the ultimate fall vlog um, because yesterday... Or no, Sunday was the official start of um, fall, the fall season. And if I told you once, I told you twice. If I could pick one season and make it last all year, it would be fall. Fall is my absolute favorite season of the entire year. Even though my birthday is in December, I mean, it's not. My birthday is in winter, so you would think that I would love winter more, but I don't. I love fall more even though my birthday is in January. Anywho, um, so like I said, I had a whole little itinerary plan. Um, I wanted to like make a fall mood board on Pinterest, which I kind of did. Um, a new seasonal screensaver, which I have made for my phone. Wait. So yeah, it's just some cute little pumpkins and some coffee and some fall leaves. Yeah, it's really cute. So, um, if I did not mention, today is Tuesday, September the 24th, and as you just saw, it's 6.26 p.m., and like I said, we're sitting outside of Target right now. Um, I'm gonna take a look around and see if they have any more fall stuff. Just, I don't know, I just like looking at fall decor. It's really, I really don't need anything else. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? I really don't need anything else. I just like looking at fall decor. So we're gonna do that. Um, I need to find some fall pajamas though. I wanna find some. I might look in Target for some. Um, hopefully they have some. I saw these real cute ones that, um, was it American Eagle? Either American Eagle or Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know who it was, but I'll put them on the screen here. They were so freaking cute. But when I went to the website, they were all sold out. And this was like in August. So, yeah, I guess you have to get the stuff early because the girls be on it. Hi, my name's Lorenzo. Uh-uh. Don't be on here telling your whole government. Sit down. But, yeah, so I also want to... I put new fall hair and nails because right now I'm a little nubby. I want to do, like, I don't know, like a brown. Or I've been seeing a lot of people do the brown color, and I really like that. But, you know, also the deep red wine color is another fall favorite. So, I don't know. One of those. And then I want to do my hair. I don't know how yet, but, yeah, we're going to we'll figure that out later, too. And then what else do I have? I wanted to go to the bookstore. I want to make some lasagna soup. I just have a lot of cute little things that I wanted to do for the fall. But um, back to why I'm getting a rental car. We have a hurricane that's supposed to hit Florida tomorrow. Well, Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's supposed to hit Thursday. And my grandmother and my uncle, they live up in Tallahassee in a trailer. And basically, it's just not safe for them to be there in a trailer. So yeah, I'm gonna ride up there and get them tomorrow and bring them to my house for a few days, at least until the storm passes or whatever, and then I'll take them back. But yeah, so there's that. And then, um, 
yeah that's actually really it i don't know why i made it sound like <laughs> it was about to be a whole long story but that's pretty much the whole ordeal in a nutshell but i have to get out of this car because my son is driving me crazy with this tablet and i know you guys are probably sick of hearing it too so yeah let's just get the vlog started and yeah if you have not already done so please hit the subscribe button it's not always this chaotic <laughs> It's a little bit of chaos in every little vlog. Just just a little bit sprinkle here and there for a little razzle dazzle. But just go ahead and follow your girl. I promise you'll love it here. And make sure you hit that um, like button as well. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I currently have, I don't even want to say it's nowhere near a thousand, but the goal is a thousand. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that we can get me to a thousand subscribers and build our community. Because if you're watching this video right now, you're a part of my community sis or bro you are definitely a part of my community so yeah we show love around here <laughs> anywho let's go into target and see what we can find i might get this yeah we're gonna get that put this in here Decisions, decisions. I can't be serious. These are only five dollars. Yeah. Let's get this one. Oh look. Yes. Look, planet. Do you want this? How much? It can't be that much. It's over here. A cool glass? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the first time I heard Uh oh That smells really, really, really good The blush Tonka Mm-hmm I have this exact vase at home Actually, both of them And I just wonder this looks good in it. Mm. Yes, but I don't, really, I don't really like that. Okay, let's see how this one would look inside. I don't want it to fit in there. I would like that one better, but it won't even fit, so. Hmm. Okay, we are just now leaving Target, spent way too much money in there, and now we're on our way to Trader Joe's. quick it'll be but let's do a haul okay target first we got for the kid got some milk and then I also picked up this um, pumpkin spice whipped dairy topping so pumpkin spice whipped cream because it looked interesting on top of my pumpkin spice latte with the little cinnamon sprinkled on top or pumpkin pie spice yeah some laundry sanitizer some scent beads I get well I'm trying out the lavender and vanilla bean by Downy because this is the these are the dryer sheets that I, mm, those are the dryer sheets that I use so yeah why not just 
keep it together. So, okay, a couple of interesting fall things that I picked up. First of all, I picked up this new book called Fall Into Temptation by Lucy Score. Never heard of it a day in my life. I think I have seen the cover, but I never really paid attention to it or read it. But when I read the back of it, I was like, hmm, okay, that sounds cute. It's just your typical um, fall rom-com, meet and greet, fall in love, seems like hate to love type thing. But yeah, it, hmm, it'd probably be a good little read. Okay, and then I also saw the cutest little candles in there. I had no intention of getting a candle because I already have so many that I have not used. I don't know what my new obsession with candles is, but it's actually got to stop. Like, so for real. So I got this vanilla pumpkin candle because first of all, excuse me, like look at this. Not to me. First of all, it smells good. It's vanilla pumpkin if I didn't say so already. And just look at the design. Like that is so cute. I thought this was absolutely adorable. How could I, how, how could I leave this for $10? How? So pick that up and it literally smells like fall. And then I also got this Lavender Woods candle. This is just a little candle because I got all of that lavender and vanilla stuff. Mm from Bath and Body Works last week. So I just feel like one of these days I wanna take a nice relaxing lavender and vanilla bath. So yeah, I'm gonna light my vanilla and lavender candle, have my vanilla and lavender, um, what are they called? Uh, the little scented tablets, whatever they're called, I'm gonna have them. It's just gonna be a really relaxing and nice bubble bath. I think that's it from Target. I also got a case of water. But yeah, that's it for Target. So let me put this stuff up and then we'll do Trader Joe's in one second. Okay. Trader Joe's. Oh, wait. Trader Joe's time. So, we got blueberries, garlic spread, apple pies, butter chicken, barbecue chicken pizza, um, crunchy chili onion hummus. So good. Macaroni and cheese. This is the best box macaroni and cheese I've ever to go with my hummus, pretzel slim, shrimp scampi. I've never had this before. Greek non-fat yogurt. I love Trader Joe's non-fat yogurt or Greek yogurt. And I got my favorite seasoning in the whole entire world, the 21 seasoning salute. Get into the fall, y'all. <laughs> um, okay, we got some pumpkin brioche twist. I get this every year and I make French toast with it. Trying out these pumpkin cranberry crisps, they just sound interesting. So, yeah, I mean, I like pumpkins and I like cranberry, so why not? Pumpkin O's, I figured these are like their version of the pumpkin spice Cheerios, so. Yeah, we're gonna try those out. I'm trying these for the first time, the pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels with yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin, what? Pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. I felt like I was reading that wrong because why was pumpkin in there so many, so many times? But yeah, this is what they look like. Another new try. Oh, it's got like chunks of stuff in there. This honestly looks like vomit, but <laughs> it's the Optominal Harvest Soup, a creamy tomato-based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. That better not be what those chunks are because I like tomato and I like butternut squash, but pumpkin chunks? And then this is also new, the non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. I feel like this would go in my, um, Pumpkin spice latte. Smooth, creamy, and delicious. This every sip of Trader Joe, blah, 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 blah. La, 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 la. Unearth the balanced sweetness of oats and water by breaking down the starches present in the oats to create sugar. Then this satisfying oat beverage meets the flavor combination of pumpkin puree and cane sugar for a delicious dairy alternative beverage. Drink it on its own, add it to your smoothie, or enjoy it with a dollop of whipped top. Ooh, and I just bought whipped topping, so that might actually be good. Smoked paprika. 
and two immunity shots i get these from trader joe's the suja immunity shots uh vitamin d and zinc yeah immunity vitamin d and zinc shot with reishi or reishi and probiotics i don't know what reishi is but this will get you right like if you have any hint of a cold or anything or just any type of not feeling 100 percent drink you one of them and i guarantee you within 24 hours you'll feel like brand new i also got so i have this at home already but um i got some for one of my besties because she's been trying to find this real bad so i saw it and i was like yeah let me get her the pumpkin spice scrub and then the pumpkin not spice pumpkin body scrub with exfoliating brown sugar and then this is the pumpkin body butter um made with coconut oil shea butter and pumpkin seed oil i got both of these last year and i absolutely love them i still have a little bit left um but i did get me another scrub because it's that good <laughs> and then this is the last bag yeah i kind of went crazy in trader joe's not gonna yie so i got these fall leaf corn tortilla chips just for any type of dip or anything that I make like if I make nachos because I usually do uh, taco Tuesday and I like nachos so I was like yeah why not this is new the pumpkin pecan instant oatmeal this honestly just sounded interesting like I don't know if I would like this or not but it sounded really interesting and it was like three dollars so I was like why not we're trying things right we're trying things um this is tried and true i get this every year the trader joe's pumpkin pancake and waffle mix i get this every year this and the brioche bread every year um this is new um honey crisp apple granola that just sounds good with that vanilla uh greek yogurt this and maybe like blueberries or something don't, don't that just sound good and just refreshing yeah it does every time i go to trader joe's i get this salad now whether i use it before it goes bad or not is an entirely different story but i do get this every time because it's delicious when i do get to eat it it's the southwestern chopped salad this is my favorite salad so good well my favorite store-bought salad these are new um well new flavors i've had the greek yogurt as you know but this is the honey crisp apple cinnamon never had that and then this is the pumpkin wait a minute so this has zero percent milk fat and this is made with whole milk why what's why oh this with that granola oh that's probably gonna eat damn the honey crisp apple cinnamon with the honey crisp apple granola that's probably gonna be so good i can't wait to wake up in the morning <laughs> and then i got these uh smoothies i don't get this one often but i have had it a couple times and it's good it's the vanilla almond spice chai um it's fall so i was like why not it's it's a fall drink to me in my mind i don't care what they say um and then i got the very green 100 percent juice smoothie love these love this down like i could drink this every day and not get tired of it strawberries and last but not least we got some mini cucumbers because i want to try that viral cucumber salad with like the cucumbers and the like crushed red peppers and what's the cheese is it cottage cheese what is this feta cheese so yeah i want to try that and so i got the mini cucumbers so that's everything for the entire day like literally everything that i bought and i spent so much money like the quickness in which i spend money should be examined like it's actually ridiculous yeah Right now, uh, I want to show you, we had to sleep in our cars last night uh, because of... Whew. 
what is up you guys so it is literally like one week later oh i look a mess it's literally one week later and oh my god so much has happened i'm right now on my way back home to jacksonville but oof, child so much has happened this past week and a half i will fill you guys in once i get home but i just wanted to let you know she's back <laughs> no but right now i'm literally sitting in the middle of the country and i was like let me just tell my peoples hey because i is that a snake speaking of yeah i'm gonna have to catch y'all up but um yeah like i said i'm headed back home now and um yeah i'll talk to you guys then because i'm actually a little bit freaked out like my daddy's side of the family like my daddy's people they're all from the country from the sticks like literal country let me just show y'all where, where i am though because when i say country i mean country wait like literal country woods <laughs> nothing out here nothing out here but country woods and more woods and probably all types of night creatures and animals and just girl yeah all that's irrelevant but uh yeah like i said i will let you guys i was but yeah like i said i will talk to you guys chit chat it up when we get back home and give you all the tea about what's going on what's been going on this past week and a half what is up you guys it's a little bit dark let me see if i can lighten this hold on oh that's better what is up you guys a long time no see i hate this angle but we're just gonna work with it for now oh my god okay what is up you guys long time no see um it's been a very chaotic week and a half when i saw you guys yesterday i was just dropping off my grandma and my uncle um back to their house in the country they live in this little country town outside of tallahassee florida i don't know if i mentioned that yesterday but yeah i was there dropping them off and now i'm back home well now i'm at enterprise as you can see because i'm taking dropping this car off and picking up my car but um yeah i was like i have a little time before it is due back so i can sit here and tell you guys a little bit about what's been going on this past week so for one we had the hurricane come like as soon as um i forgot what i was about to do but oh like as soon as i started this vlog that's what it was as soon as i started this vlog we got news that there was a hurricane coming hurricane helene was coming straight to florida and um my grandma and my uncle they live in the panhandle area where the hurricane was headed So my dad called me and he was like, hey, I need you to do me a favor and go and get mama and um, go and get mom, my grandma and his brother um, because he was out of town. And he, my dad lives in Tampa, so his house uh, flooded as well. So his house flooded while he was out of town. I had to go and get my grandma and my uncle, bring them to my house. Um, and then as soon as I brought them here, their power went out where they are. And because they're in a country town, like not a main town or main road whatever i don't know but because because they're like out in the country it took a little bit longer for their power to get restored so all in all they were at my house for nine days a week and a half and um 
yeah it was just a lot going on i tip my hat to caregivers and people with like special need kids and stuff like that because whoa that was a task like that was something that i was not prepared for like not mentally or physically prepared for i am literally so tired right now i'm exhausted um i tried to sleep in this morning but uh my mom locked herself out of her house and i have a spare key so she called me and was like hey can you come um let me in and i'm like okay that was at like eight o'clock this morning so i'm like child i'm just not supposed to sleep in late like i guess i guess those days are over but anyway so we had the hurricane um and then while my grandma and uncle were here i saw a freaking snake in my front yard i have never i've been living in this house for years and I have never ever seen a snake but I saw a snake in my yard and I'm ter if you don't know I'm terrified of snakes snakes and dogs I do not mess with but yeah so that happened and I've been scared to go outside <laughs> for the last couple of days but I mean you gotta go out so yeah there's that and low-key when I saw that I was like throw the whole house away like I want to move right now today <laughs> but yeah that's very dramatic but that's where we are and then all this stuff happened this week mind you everything that I'm telling you guys and then my son has a field trip coming up this week or is it next week i don't know but last month i volunteered to be a chaperone it's his first ever field trip ever so i was like um yeah let me go and go on a field trip with my baby so i signed up to be a chaperone that was before all of this extra stuff happened child i literally haven't had rest in like three weeks at this point and i'm telling you this to tell you that it's going to continue so yeah i signed up to be a chaperone for his first field trip they're going to some sort of play um so that's coming up and then what else i think that's it actually because the last thing i think the last clip on this vlog i think was when i went to trader joe's and got all of my fall stuff because that had to be that was the day that I got my car back because my car, oh my gosh. So I have been without, well, my car, not without a car because I've had rental cars, but I've been without my car for like two months because it just decided to cut off, like not work. It just completely stopped working. I'm on my way back home from taking my son to school and the car just completely shuts off. No warning, no light. Well, the lights came on about five seconds before it shut off. Come to find out it was some sort of recall that I missed and it like literally caused the in the entire engine to blow. And I'm like, huh? But anyway, they, they serviced it, they fixed it for free. So that's just not my problem. But it's just the point, like it was a major inconvenience. They're gonna reimburse me for all the time that I had a rental car, but still it's just like, that was such a such an inconvenience. And with having all of these rental cars, the, well, I've only had two because I kept it, I kept renewing it. So I never turned it back in until I was completely done. But having these two rental cars, it kind of makes me want a new car. I'm not gonna lie to you. So yeah, that's in the back of my mind, but yeah. That's a little bit about what's been going on. Ew. That's a little bit about what's been going on this past week and a half um, with me. So, like I said, we're here at Enterprise Rental Car right now. I'm dropping this car off and we're about to hop in my car and then probably go to Target because I need to pick up a couple of things for the week. Today is Sunday, if I didn't mention. It's Sunday, October the 6th. I don't know why I was about to say the 4th. It's Sunday, October the 6th. And yeah, I'm about to drop this car off, pick my car up, and um, go to Target. I kind of, I want to like, I don't have the energy for all that. I was like, I want to like meal prep. I want to buy a bunch of, I've been wanting salmon real bad. Like, I don't know. I've, I've had a taste for salmon for like the past week. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some salmon at some point and do like some meal prep. I think I wanna do salmon and chicken bowls. Like, anyway, that's neither here nor there. 
we're back we're back vlogging I've, I've everything is back in order now i'm just doing some resetting and cleaning today washing some laundry because i have like three four loads of laundry that need to be washed it's just a lot i'm just getting everything back in order so yeah that is now what this vlog is going to consist of so yeah all right, so we're about to hop in my car. We're about to hop in my car and put all of my stuff in my car and then drop their keys in the little lockbox outside. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, let me go ahead and Put their key in the little lockbox that they have out here and then get all of, all of my stuff out of their car and bring it back to my car and then I'll talk to you guys in one second. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. Okay, so we just uh, dropped the rental car off. We're leaving now. I have a couple of errands to run because I want to make myself a U-part wig. Um, so I need to go to the beauty supply store. And then I also, I already told you guys I need to go to Target to pick up a couple things for the, um, the upcoming week. And then I need to get gas. And then I also want to go to the car wash because I want to wash my car and vacuum out the inside. Even though it looks like it's about to rain low key, but I mean, I'm really just going for the vacuum. Like I really need to vacuum my car. So even if it does rain, that's fine. Um, whatever. <laughs> I have not been to any gas station other than Shell. I'm like, is that my cousin? Do my cousin work here? He looks just like my cousin. Sorry, but we're off. To the car wash. Oh, I forgot to cut my car off. Where are we going, mommy? To the car wash. You want to go to the car wash? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it looks so cute. It's like Halloween themed. Hold on. Look, it's Halloween themed, kind of. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm down by it. In your heart, you keep trying. The truth is I hide That's just the way we are But can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new, it won't be like that 
to everybody else who wants to show me back But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile And it's hard for me to try to die Something about you, I can't live without you I want you to be with me, yeah Y'all, I just vacuumed up a damn pen out of here And then I almost sucked my wig off too I was like, yeah, it's time to go <laughs> It's time to go, we're done with the vacuum But I got everything go Ooh, except this section tree. Why? Because we're going to the Dollar Tree What you know about the Dollar Tree? So I vacuum everything except this little section here. Oh, this is an old battery. I need to throw this away. Because it no longer works. Okay, let me vacuum out this little piece right here. And try to keep my wig intact. All right, so that was the gas station, the car wash. It's raining already, so yeah. But at least I vacuumed out the inside of my car. So now we are about to head to the beauty supply just store. Went to the gas station. That's what I just said, nosy. Okay, done with the beauty supply. Hello. So basically, the only thing that I got was the wig cap that you guys saw. I got this um, <coughs> Afogy, I believe it's pronounced. Um, it's a protein treatment. It is a two-step protein treatment. Yeah, so this one is supposed to stop the hair breakage, rebuild hair structure for six weeks ideal for natural or processed hair and then this one is a balancing moisturizer um infuses moisture improves manageability softness and shine so basically a protein um treatment and then i also got this oil which is some biotin it's a hot oil treatment and it promotes healthy hair growth for thicker and fuller hair because y'all know yeah <laughs> if you know you know i said it in the last video so if you don't know you need to go watch that but um yeah so we went to the beauty supply store and y'all know when i got to the counter my total was like 12 dollars, and um i was about to pay and i was like wait pull up my phone number and see if i have any points so i gave him my phone number why he told me he was like yeah you got 135 points i was like okay what that mean he was like you get like five dollars off i was like yeah i need that so i ended up only paying like six dollars because I had a five dollar um five dollars worth of uh reward points. So yeah. If your beauty supply store, your local beauty supply does some any kind of reward program, girl, join it. Everybody loves free stuff. I am literally starving. It is 405 and I have not eaten one thing today. Oh, that's a lie. I did eat that um that cheese pastry. But that's basically equivalent to water. <laughs> because it's not feeling whatsoever um but yeah so now the only thing left to do is go to target because we did everything else that was on my list this man just pulled in so close to me so we made it to target it's raining cats and dogs so they can't even bring like they can't do the drive-up order so now i have to get out 
and go in which i mean it's cool because i'm i still parked in the drive up spot so it's still up front but yeah we have to go in there and get it ourselves i need to hurry up and do my hair because i it's kind of giving cone head like i look exactly how my life has been these past two weeks a mess uh, do y'all know how long i have been looking for this cone and it's been in my car the whole time two months apparently why the whole time it's been in my car i was like where the hell is my big tooth comb my wide tooth comb the whole time it was in the car that i didn't have what is up you guys and welcome back to a brand new day in the vlog so y'all tell me why i just had to go up to enterprise and give them a little attitude because they trying to play with your girl coins so y'all know i returned the rental car yesterday on sunday so today um i get an invoice in my email <sighs> Whew, hold on i'm out of breath <laughs> And it says that basically, so I, I put down a $300 deposit, but the invoice is saying that I'm going to get back $225, which means $75 was deducted. And I'm like, okay, what's the $75? Like, what are y'all charging me for? So I go and look at the invoice details and they're charging me $25 for like a fuel um, re, like basically to put gas back in the car. And I'm like, houseway, because I bought the car back with more gas than I picked it up with. So what are you talking about so um yeah they charged me for that and then there was some other like miscellaneous fifty dollars and i'm like what y'all got going on so i called them and of course the phone's ringing off the hook off the hook they're picking it up hanging up picking up hanging up i'm like okay so that means y'all want me to come up there right cool so i got in my car and i went up there and i'm like hey um what's up <laughs> So, the guy who actually did my transaction, he was sitting over there at his desk, but I was being helped by another lady, which I was trying to contain my attitude. Well, I think I actually did contain my attitude because I was like, you ain't do it, so I'm not really mad at you. Now, had he checked me out, you know, God knew what he was doing. So, the lady checked me out. <laughs> she was helping me so i'm like yeah i'm trying to figure out where like why are y'all taking an additional 75 dollars from me because girl i work too hard for y'all to be trying to steal my little change so she was like yeah let me um let me look at it so the 25 dollars, like i said it was for a refill thing and i'm like well how is that when i brought the car back with more gas than i picked it up with i was like and to prove it i was like i have a video to prove it you want to see it and she was like um okay so i showed her the video and she's like all right she took it off and i'm like okay so cool we got that out of the way what is this other additional 50 dollars? so come to find out they had so i checked i brought the car back yesterday on sunday but technically it was considered an after hours drop off because the business is closed on sunday not my problem so they actually checked it back in for today when they open back up at 7 30 and i'm like no ma'am i brought it back yesterday so i wanted to reflect that i brought it back yesterday and so uh they went in there and did whatever they had to do they little type and it took like a good 10 15 minutes that's y'all problem. So they went in there and fixed whatever they needed to fix, backdated it, and that kicked back the extra $50. And I know what y'all probably thinking. Girl, all that for $75? I don't care if it's $7.50. It's mine. Now put it back. <laughs> so, yeah, I went up there, got my money back, and now I'm back home. Um, I'm about to do my hair. Actually, I need to do the wig. I got so much to do today. Like, I was just looking at my little... uh planner and it's literally full like it's never i don't usually have days where every single slot is full i think there's one slot available but yeah i literally have so much to do today it's crazy but i don't even know where to start it's so much but i know i need to do my hair i make my u part wig first and foremost i need to make my wig i need to pay for my son's field trip and my the chaperone fee because why are you charging me to be a chaperone it's not like i'm eating y'all food it's not like i'm riding on a bus with y'all taking up space like i literally have to drive myself there and back i'm buying my own lunch if i want to eat what am i paying for i'm paying to watch help you watch my kid ain't that a ripoff but anyway it's 16 dollars, so i'm paying for that and um his ticket of course 
and then what else i have to finish the little trainings because they make you do like all these trainings and stuff to be a chaperone um which i get because you're working with kids so i get it it's like sexual harassment training um first aid training uh fire and smoke detect um not detector what are the things called the hydrant no the things that be hanging on the wall where you can pick it up and douse the fire i forgot extinguisher fire extinguisher training um i said first aid just all types of training i have to finish those today because the, the deadline is tomorrow I, don't ask me why i waited till the last minute i told y'all it was a lot going on these past nine days well the past nine days so yeah we have the field trip stuff the training and certifications all that paying um i want to clean up my house get everything back in order because it actually looks a cluttered mess i'm not even gonna show y'all because you don't need to be in my business like that right now but yeah i'm gonna clean up my house mop my floors um what else i can't remember it's a lot of stuff on that list yeah, I can't remember what else, but I know it's a good amount of stuff on there. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share with y'all my little enterprise fiasco because I'm like, why y'all trying to take my money? First thing this Monday morning, y'all trying to take my money. Like the devil not going to get me. You're not going to get me, Satan. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all. So you know how I was just saying that we just had a hurricane last week. Uh, hurricane Helene. Y'all, tell me why I just saw on the news that there's another one coming. It's scheduled to be here like Wednesday night um, to Thursday morning, like the wee hours of Thursday morning. And it's just like, why? Like, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. So we have to go to the store a little bit later. I'm probably going to go tomorrow because I need to make me a list and get myself together and make sure that I get everything. We have to go and pick up some water some cases of water you know like non-perishable items in case the power goes out but i'm just like dang can we get a break can florida please get a break like golly i know it's hurricane season but we was it was peaceful all season until october hit like i don't know what that's about but if that's what october brings then you need to get <laughs> you need to get on let, like just let november come already because november actually is the end of hurricane season i don't know if it's the beginning or the end but i know hurricane season is june through november so yeah we're almost we're almost in the clear but in the meantime we get banged up like oh in the meantime we're getting slapped left and right with tropical storms and hurricanes this one is supposed to be a cat well it's a category five right now but by the time it makes landfall i think they said it's gonna be like a, a two or even a one but my mom called me just now all like motherly oh my god what are y'all gonna do are you gonna go to a shelter i'm like girl no you had like when you lived in florida our whole lives i'm not going to a shelter it's gonna be a category one like no the one we had last week was probably more detrimental than this one but yeah i do want to go to the store though and rack up on storm essentials and then also tonight i need to figure out what i'm gonna i might have to go tonight <sighs> because i need to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner i've been craving lasagna soup and i have all of the ingredients so i think i might do that tonight but my son like i have a toddler like if you have a little a small kid you know they are so funny acting when it comes like he literally only likes three things pizza chicken nuggets macaroni and cheese yeah that's pretty much it and oh he likes fish too he likes fish he eats salmon and uh turkey loaf but <clears throat> basically i know he's not gonna want lasagna soup and i'm like i'm about to just stop by and get him some grilled nuggets or something from chick-fil-a because girl i don't know i'm not in the mood to be cooking all these extra meals <laughs> just not in the mood today <laughs> but yeah so i'm headed to pick him up right now from school on my lunch break but yeah i just got the news so school is going to be closed wednesday thursday and friday of this week so 
they went all last week the week before that school was closed wednesday thursday friday they went all last week and then this week it's going to be closed again for wednesday thursday and friday so when are the kids in school <laughs> anyway i'm just rambling at this point but yeah i just wanted to tell y'all like it's a whole nother storm coming like girl give us a break mother nature please
what's up you guys oh i hate this glare hold on so basically it's everywhere okay fun anywho as you can see we're back home the storm actually did not do like it wasn't as bad as we anticipated it yeah we got some rain we got some wind but it was nowhere near what we were expecting so that's good anywho like i said we're back home now this is the end of the vlog that actually was the last clip but i was just editing and i'm like i can't just let it end like that the people don't know if i'm alive or not <laughs> i'm alive i'm fine i'm well and we have a lot planned for this upcoming weekend like my next couple of vlogs i already have the ideas but then again i always have ideas hopefully things go according to plan because yeah so do yourself a favor and me as well and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you like hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time that i post a new video and yeah it's been fun i'll see you guys in a few days i'm hoping to have my next video up by thursday this is gonna go up today because i'm done editing i just have to export and upload it to youtube so this is coming out today monday and then hopefully my next one will come out thursday but yeah, thanks for rocking with your girl. Man, if you made it this far, you might as well hit subscribe. Like, you love it here. You love it here. And I love having you here. So hit subscribe and get your girl to 1K subscribers. That's it. That's all. Love you. And I'll see you in my next video. I don't know what that was. And I don't know why I keep doing it. But yeah. <laughs>